Hello guys, this is Engineer Vakas Ahmed and in today's this video, I'm going to share with you people the very fantastic feature of Primavera P6, which is called top to down estimation. By using this feature, we are going to learn how to get quick things get done while using Primavera P6 if we talk about uh, cost loading and resource loading. But uh, to learn this, uh, you know, fantastic feature, we need to follow the things step by step. So this is actually an efficient way to cost loading and resource loading for entire project schedule. Uh, this is called top to down estimation. But before that, we have to keep this thing in mind that uh, for entire schedule, it's very effective, but only with the condition when we have total budgeted units of the project, when we have all the project and we have estimated total units required. Like I, when I talk about total units, it means man hours, okay? Either we talk about man hours in terms of labor or non-labor, okay? At one time, we can deal with only one category. Either it can be labor or non-labor. Labor means manpower and uh, non-labor means uh, machinery like your cranes and all that. So if we have total project, entire accurate calculation that this much, let's say we have 3,000 total man hours in labor category required to execute a project, then we can have this uh, application of this feature. So proper deliverable and task weightages require input from your expert. So this is the second requirement if you want to implement this thing on your project, like your subject matter expert people, SME, subject matter expert people should uh, also participate in this exercise or an activity which will help you to understand and which will help you to calculate the weightages of different your WBS work packages. I'm going to help you in this regard as well because I have prepared a complete activity to make you learn this application of this feature. So moving on to the next slide, uh, there is, a, uh, I will be sharing with you Primavera PC. This is actually dummy project, pipeline construction project. So what I need to do, first of all, I have to go into the WBS and make sure make sure the inclusion of a column which is called a slab established weightages okay this column should be there this is very important if you don't see this column you can go into the column area and you can see customize and uh, i have already this column but you can go here and you can find uh, est weightage and you can find here and you can move this column from this side to this area and after you get this column over here uh, you, now you have to in, you know, consult with your subject matter expert people. I have prepared that sheet and here we are. So if I, I will help you people that that project, see if on Primavera P6, you can see my project. It's actually civil works, piping works, equipment installation, testing and commissioning. So with the help of my project management team, the everything is very accurately known and my expert people can help me to get all the weightages. So my weightages are going to make me three plus four, seven, two, and one is going to make 10, or is going to make 100. 30%, 40%, 20%, one, or if you are to say in unitary system, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Okay, so, but I'm going by the system of tens. So I have civil works. So in civil works, I have majorly trench and foundations. Trench are like, um, you can understand this thing with the subject matter expert people. You are sitting and you are trench is 2.5. See, first of all, you can make it. The complete total project is going to make me 10, okay? Overall combination, three, four, two, and one. So civil works, three. How it will be distributed in civil works? Trench is going to contribute 2.5 and foundation 0.5. Further, in trench, 2.5 will be collectively see, see this 2.5 this one see 2.5 over here and foundation is only 0 0.5 0 0.25 0 0.25 so you can see that further uh, it is uh, distributed okay it is distributed accordingly and then piping works okay see piping works has been distributed like that way Four, equipment installation further, you can understand, right? That this is weightage. We know that weightage means that uh, if we will accumulate each and everything, it's going to give us at the end 10. 
everything is further subdivided. So these are the weightages I'm going to load in my uh, WBS in Flamemora P6. So here we are. So in WBS, I know that uh, here my civil works is actually four. Then piping works are like three. Uh, let me share again. So, no, no, it's three. And uh, just give me a moment. Let me check. Civil three, four. I have make it reverse. Huh? Three, four, two, one. I'll be sharing Pramabra P6. Civil three. Piping four. And then... So you can see that I have distributed quickly all these weightages which were given and which were consulted on this Excel sheet with my subject matter expert people. So I have all uh, distributed all across this WBS page my with my weightages and now I will quickly move to the activities window. Here again, I have to uh, do the same thing. I have to add up my columns. So I will click on this one. The first thing I need, establish weightages, see. Okay, so just give me a moment. It's uh, in general. Sometimes it's not easy to see weightage. My my spellings were not matching. So that's why. The second thing I need to go into the budgeted labor units. Okay, budgeted labor units. Here we have to add budgeted labor units. And then I have to go into the cost. Budgeted labor cost because I'm dealing at this moment with labor budgeted labor cost and then add completion labor cost or I should think okay at this moment I need these things apply okay so my dashboard is like that way so okay so at this moment I have to further go into the activity level and I have to incorporate these weightages further at the activity level as well so my storage tank foundation or if I talk about from civil excavation Trench excavation is carrying from 2.51 and trench bedding 1.5. So accordingly, I'm going to share with you. See, uh, this is 1 and this is 1.5. Okay. Storage tank foundation, I'll share. 0 0.25, 0 0.25 and here we are. 0 0.25 and point. To five, okay. So same lowering of five. I will be sharing what is the weightage. So this is point two one point two point one point two one point two point one. Okay, I'll be sharing point two. One point two. Point one. So you can see that quickly I have also distributed all my weightages at activity level as well. So what to do the next thing? Now I have to create a you know labor resource under enterprise. I will go and I will click on this resources. Here, resource window will open. I will click on this add button and uh, I have to open, uh, create one resource under labor category. And you can see over here under this one, uh, I will add, see, I will make it independent. And this is my piping resource or lump sum, okay? So I will, labor resource, okay, I will make, uh, you know, this R160 is dedicatedly my resource for all this project. So this is single uh, resource I need to create for this project to demonstrate my cost. It should be 10 hours per day, 10 hours maximum availability. And I will provide here 10 dirhams per this one hour price is 10, hour, 10 dirhams or you can make 12, 50 dirhams, let's say, per hour. Okay, 50. This is the cost. Okay. So now what I need to do, I will be sharing with you this activities window. So I have to make, uh, you know, you can see that uh, select all activities and assign resources 
and this R160, I have to assign single-handedly. Okay, that's great. As per current deployment of my resource man hours, it has automatically provided all the costs, but it is not the accurate one. You can see that on the basis of the, that one, but still I have to implement my top to down estimation feature. So what I need to do, the final step, I have to go and click on the tools. There I can find top down estimation. Here I have to make estimate labor. If I go for the non-labor machinery, I have to go for this option. But right now, I have to consult that how many uh, estimated units I need to spend on my current project. Let's say these are the 4,000. So 4,000. Make sure prior experience, okay? And uh, apply. Okay. Apply, yes. And okay. And close. And now you can see everything is changed on the basis of. So those 4,000 man hours were the accurately cal calculated with the help of my subject matter expert people. So my this feature has equally distributed these man hours on the basis of these weightages. First, on the basis of my WBS weightage, you can see that on the basis of this WBS, and distributed cost accordingly. And then on the basis of my activity, weightages and distributed man hours accordingly at each level of this activity. And you can see that my total man hours are 4,000 are being shown over here. And accordingly, if one man hour is, you know, costed as per 50 dirhams, it's going to make you total cost for this one. And at each level, it is going to, it is going uh, to show the accurate value in terms of man hours and cost. So this is very accurate um, feature of Primavera P6, but I have told you already about the constraint of application of this feature. You need subject matter expert people. You need accurate calculation of total required man hours. After implementation of this feature, you can even generate your S curves, your spreadsheet. So I will let you know how to do that. Go into the view, show on bottom and activity usage profile. And here you can see that on the basis of this feature application, you can find your histograms, that this much is your, you can find the things, how much is spending. And if you want to change it, go into the activity usage profile options. And uh, if you want to show in units, apply. It's going to give you the things in units. If you want to make in S curves, apply, it's your S curve, see? So that's how you are going to compile your project and only the constraint, you should exit with your subject matter expert people. You should know the things uh, on the first hand that how much total budgeted labor units you require to complete this project. So thank you very much for watching this video and uh, I'm waiting for your response and comments in the end of this video. Thank you.